Coming up on the latest episode of Timberwolves Weekly, the men's soccer team tried to pull the double win the GLIAC tournament after already winning the GLIAC championship. The football team hosted their home finale against Hillsdale. And we'll also recap everything else that's going on in Northwood Athletics. Timberwolves Weekly starts right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 11th episode of Timberwolves Weekly. I'm your host, Travis McCurdy, coming to you from inside the renovated Bennett Center, where the basketball teams have been practicing getting ready for their season opener, which takes place this weekend. But first, let's recap everything that's going on in the last seven days here at Northwood. The men's soccer team had already clinched their first outright GLIAC championship the week before, but last weekend, the Timberwolves tried to do a rare feat in GLIAC play, and that's pull the double, win the regular season conference championship as well as the tournament title. Northwood needed to go through a pair of tough opponents to earn the title. Let's see how the Timberwolves did. The box there, uh, his foot skills are tremendous. I think he could be the game changer here. Loose ball in the area. Shot goal. and a goal! James DeCosmo finds the back of the net with 18.35 to go. And the Timberwolves finally break. That James DeCosmo goal in the 72nd minute proved to be the only goal in the defensive-minded 1-0 victory for Northwood over Tiffin in the GLIAC tournament semifinals. That was DeCosmo's 12th goal of the season. Adam Thomas picked up his sixth assist on that goal. Johannes Jarobo had five saves for his 15th victory of the season. Then on Sunday, the Timberwolves faced Lake Erie in the GLIAC tournament championship match, a game that featured a little bit more offense. Straight away, but... Good job there by the Timberwolves, by Cole fighting for it. Track down, shot from distance. It's a goal! A beauty! Keaton Levick does it again. That is his specialty. From that distance, he has scored many goals this season. And I don't have any actual official data to support this, but I cannot imagine many teams in the GLIAC or the region have been better on corners than north of the last couple years. Levick's ball in. Headed down, and it's a goal! The Timberwolves make it 2-0. I think it was Adam Thomas who got his head on that one. Played back to Smith now. Smith sends it back in again. Shot the goal! Mike Ankoviak buries in the left corner. What a goal by Mike Ankoviak. So Northwood earned their second straight GLIAC tournament championship title with a 3-0 victory over Lake Erie in the finals. Keaton Levick with a goal and an assist to lead the way for Northwood. Adam Thomas and Mike Ankoviak added their fourth and fifth goals respectively on the season. Northwood with the win is now 16-1-1 on the season. So some history there for Northwood. The Timberwolves are just the fourth team to win the GLIAC regular season title and the tournament title in the same season. They joined Tiffin, Ashland, and Saginaw Valley in achieving that feat. Northwood is also the only the second team in GLIAC history to win the GLIAC tournament title in two straight seasons, joining Tiffin from 2008 and 2009. So congratulations to Doug Carter and the men's soccer team. A tremendous season so far, and obviously more to come. We'll have more information about the upcoming NCAA tournament, which will be played here at Northwood this week. The football team wrapped up the home portion of their schedule Saturday with a game against Hillsdale. It was senior day for 19 Timberwolves. Let's see how the Timberwolves did against the Chargers. Had eight punts last Saturday, and he'll get rid of this one at about a seven. The Chargers await the kick back around the 45. It takes a great Northwood bounce. Chargers will actually field it at about the 24 and forced out of bounds. Brian Newman, the return from the shotgun, Stewart. The redshirt freshman, pressure, and he'll be sacked. First one of the day for either team, and this one belongs to Northwood. Yep, that's the way you play the game. Michael Fisher takes him down in the backfield for a second check in his third check. Morris over the middle. That's complete and a great catch. Guess who? Team's leader, Theron Wilson. Avoid him. Well, there's a high comparison. Yeah. Nice pass and a nice touch. Completed over the 30, out to about the 35. Opposite end is Andre Carter. He's been active today since that stop in the Northwood Drive. Morris on the option. He'll keep it, turn it in. Inside the 30 to the 25, tackled at about the 24. First down and Mark Morris. Two, and they're going to bring that to one of three. Let's see. Morris, he'll keep it. He's got Andre the pitch and a nice fake. Morris for 14 yards out. Timberwolf 
touchdown. Oh, what a fake to Bavilli off the middle. Chargers will be happy with that. Two minute offense, no huddle, and it's quick. Richmond again with the reception. He's going to bust to the outside. Stiff arm, 50, 45, 44 before he's forced. Paul from Gallagher the laid a hit on Indeed, him. Indeed, from the 42, Morris is working fast, and Wilson, Theron, inside the 38 to about the 35 before he's forced out into the Northwood sideline. Mark Morris from the shotgun, going to the air, completed to Stocker. Stocker at about the 26, turns it up and picks up another six yards. Goal from the three. Luke Schaefer standing alone in the end zone. Touchdown. Northwood fell to Hillsdale by the final score of 28 to 14. Mark Morris in the game on the final completion of the contest set the Northwood career passing record with 4,453 yards. He moved past Hall of Famer Sleepy Tolly, who finished his career with 4,442 yards. Mike Fisher and Mike Heath added 10 and 9 tackles, respectively, for the Timberwolves in the contest. Tough loss for the football team. They will finish their season this weekend at Malone. Fall sports season is really winding down. Limited action from across the teams this weekend. Let's see how the rest of the Northwood squads did. The volleyball team dropped a hard-fought 3-2 contest at Grand Valley to open the play last week. The Timberwolves had a match point in the fourth set at 24-23, but were unable to convert. And then the Lakers came back to win the set and then take the fifth set. Krista Kramer, 15 kills, 18 digs for Northwood. Allison Getty, 13 kills and 23 digs for the Timberwolves. Kiana Martinez with a career-high 33 digs for the Timberwolves in the loss. The Timberwolves then went to Fair State and dropped a 3-0 match to the Bulldogs. Mayer had four kills, while Kiana Martinez had 11 digs for Northwood. And the cross-country teams wrapped up the 2015 fall season by competing at the NCAA Regional at Southern Indiana. The men's team placed 20th overall with 599 points. Will Mensch leading the way with a 96th place finish with a time of 33-19-37. The women's team placed 22nd overall with a team score of 651. Jenny France finishes her cross-country career by placing 74th overall with a time of 22-50-78. The men's basketball team rounded out exhibition play with a 97-77 loss to Xavier on Saturday. Northwood trailed 52 to 38 at halftime and then were outscored 45 to 39 in the second half. Maurice Jones led Northwood with 20 points, six rebounds, and four assists, while Jermaine Myers came off the bench to finish with 11 points, five rebounds, and three assists. So the exhibition basketball season has come to an end. The men's team took part in three exhibition games. The women's team also played in a couple of scrimmages last weekend, but the games count for real coming up this weekend as both the men's and women's team get the regular season going with games on Friday and Saturday. There's lots of action coming up this week in Northwood Athletics as well. Let's take a look at what's coming up for the Timberwolves. This week's events begin on Thursday, November 12th, as the Timberwolves will host the opening round of the NCAA Men's Soccer Tournament. Third-seeded Saginaw Valley State will take on sixth-seeded Indianapolis with the winner to face Northwood Saturday at noon in the second round. On Friday, November 13th, the volleyball team will host Michigan Tech to begin their final weekend of the regular season. On Saturday at 1 o'clock, Northwood football will finish their season with a game against Malone in Canton, Ohio. Then at 5 o'clock Saturday, volleyball will play its final match of the regular season against Northern Michigan. Later on Saturday, men's and women's basketball will both get their seasons underway. The men's team will face Bellarmine, while the women's team will take on St. Joseph's. On Sunday, November 16th, men's and women's basketball will finish their weekends with games against Lewis for the women and St. Joseph's for the men. And then on Tuesday, November 17th at 7 p.m., the men's basketball team will host their home opener against Calvin. So a busy week in Northwood Athletics. The volleyball team still with a chance to make the GLIAC tournament with their final two regular season matches here at home. Men's soccer team hosting the NCAA tournament starting on Thursday with that Saginaw Valley Indy match. And then Northwood will play the winner of that game on Saturday at noon. Football on the road. Another great week of Northwood Athletics coming up. Our athletes of the week come from the men's soccer team and the volleyball team. Our men's soccer honoree scored a tremendous goal in the GLIAC championship match against Lake Erie. And our volleyball player had another strong week as she finishes up her career. Let's take a look at our athletes of the week. Our men's athlete of the week is Keaton Levick from the men's soccer team. Keaton had a goal and an assist in Northwood's 3-0 victory over Lake Erie in the GLIAC tournament championship match. 
Levick earned all tournament team honors as well as first team all GLIAC honors. Our women's athlete of the week is Krista Kramer from the volleyball team. Krista had a team high 15 kills in Northwood's loss at Grand Valley State. She also added 18 digs and three blocks for the Timberwolves. Then against Ferris State on Saturday, she had three kills and five digs. Congratulations to Keaton and Krista on a great accomplishment and great seasons for both of them so far. Don't forget, once again, this weekend, the NCAA Men's Soccer Tournament is coming to Northwood. Thursday at 1 o'clock, Saturday at noon, should be two great matches. Soccer played at the highest level at this Division II level coming up here at Northwood this weekend. That's going to do it for this episode of Timberwolves Weekly. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. I'm Travis McCurdy signing off. Keep fighting. Go mad.